Hello everybody, today I want to show you how to deploy your Create React app project to Heroku, but it's made with TypeScript. Uh, I spent quite a bit of time online searching how to do this job, and finally I succeeded. I went on Stack Overflow, Google, YouTube, and uh, I took a little bit from here, a little bit from there, but there's no like one tutorial like how to do it, a simple, simple, simple way. There is no backend involved, just the UI. Uh, there's my app, I already started it. Here is how it looks. Now it's served with the Webpack server. Uh, but if, oh, I'm going oh, to quit it. But if I'm going to deploy this app to Heroku now, it's not going to... It's not gonna work uh, because it was giving me some webpack errors, and I'm not a pro with the webpack, so I found a workaround, and I'm gonna serve it with the webpack server. I'm gonna serve it with my Express server, very very simple Express uh, server. I'm gonna show you how to do it. So this is the server, it's my server, just in the root, very simple. Uh, you need to install uh, Express, just run npm install Express. Uh, you gotta, it's good. So the process.env.port, that's the port that will be assigned automatically by Heroku when they're gonna host our app. And if you're not gonna use Heroku, if you wanna run it locally, we're gonna run it on port uh, 3000. And it's gonna, when, when we want to serve it, we're going to serve it a static file, the build. So the build folder, the, that one will be created when we're going to run npm run build. So create React app is so smart. Those scripts are made by smart people. Um, and it's going to build for us like a static uh, folder with all the assets uh, for the web browser to be served there. Well, this is the server, as I showed you. Now, let's go change our package.json. So, as we all know, if we run npm run start, it's going to serve our app with the webpack server, right? Now, I want to serve it with the express server. For this, we need to change the start script. It's going to be node. What's the name of the file? Server. Server.js. And then here, if we, I want, if I want to start it, I just do npm start. Boom. Node server listening on port three thousand. Let's go see. Let's refresh. Refresh. Working. So cool. Now you know. Um, well, let's actually create. Uh, <clears throat> let's actually create. Uh, sorry. Let's actually create the, the app on, on the Heroku. So for this, you need to install Heroku CLI and uh, get CLI. There is a command Heroku create and the name of our app. It's going to be credit card, credit card UI. I think it's okay. If it's not Ah, it's available. Create it. Cool. And actually, let's initialize our repository. Get in it. It's reinitialized. It was initialized before. Um, let's create a connection. Git uh, Heroku git remote dash a and the name of our app is credit card UI. Boom. Done. So now, uh, in order to help Heroku to know which environment we're using, we need to install the build packs. The one build pack is going to be a Heroku Node.js. Another build pack, which is very important, is a TypeScript build pack. You can search for it. Um, there is a command Heroku build packs search. 
and we need a tape crate. Tape script. So there is one CTZ type script. This is uh, this is the one actually uh, we need. Let's do Heroku build packs, and I believe it's add ZTZ TypeScript. Boom. Error. I think there is no space. Nope. Um. Oh, okay. I think it's like that. I think it's like that. No, like that. Yeah. All right. Cool. So now if we go to to our Heroku, refresh, we can see our project created car UI. We go to settings. Here is the build pack added. Actually, I want to add another build pack, which is a Heroku Node.js. And I think it's like that, Heroku Node.js. Next release on credit card UI, we'll use ZDZ, TypeScript, and Heroku Node.js. Cool, this is what we want, exactly what we want. Uh, now, Let's run, because like we don't have uh, the build uh, folder yet, so let's build it. Let's run the script npm run build. It's going to do some magic. It's going to be, my machine is kind of slow. I think it's going to take like a minute or something. But anyways, uh, employer all, always want us to deploy our projects. Yeah. HRs likes HRs they like to see the pro deployed projects. So I that's like I think it's it's a good experience and it's uh, very helpful for your resume, so people can see actually your projects online. And uh, but there is uh, not so many tutorials how to deploy the projects with the TypeScript. JavaScript works just fine. You just follow Heroku uh, guideline and it works just magically. Type, TypeScript is a little bit tricky because type, TypeScript is a super set of JavaScript and it needs to uh, compile. There is some magic have to be done behind the scene. That's why this build pack, the TypeScript from ZDZ, it's a guy, it's a girl, I don't know, but um, thank you for this build pack. And this is a very important package for deployment for the TypeScript. All right, so we build our uh, folder. Now we're ready to commit. So git add git commit dash a and uh, our project oh my god no uh, let's um, initial uh, initial commit oh. now we want to push git push Hiroko master oh now it's building as you can see um, I don't have a post install script in here because very often I see people do post they do post install and they just run npm npm run build or they ins install the TypeScript compiler um, the way mm, it might be helpful if you do it just like other way but the way like I show you, it doesn't need any post install because this uh, build pack is smart enough to do everything. 
behind the scene and there is no post install needed you see uh, so as you can see that it's running the build so it's smart so react react scripts build so it's doing the job so you don't need to to do it in the post install uh, now let's just let's just wait uh, everything in my project is in the dependencies. I moved it uh, just in case because I saw some suggestions like every all your dependencies and your type have to be in the dependencies. Before I had some some dependencies in the like dev dependencies and I moved it. But I think it, it's not going to hurt if they're going to be in the dev dependencies. Also, sometimes people mention the engine in here. It won't hurt. Like I mean. You just put your node version and your npm version. Uh, I removed it because everything works just fine without it. Because uh, Heroku, when it builds your project, it assigns uh, some like def default versions. But if you're gonna see some uh, logs, if it's not gonna work, and you see some logs, it's yelling for the, for the version. You can specify the engine here and say it's like version 12 blah 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 so it's deployed uh, let's run Heroku open and see if it's working no it's loading cool so thank you for watching I hope this video was uh, helpful uh, if you like it, please like, and if you have any uh, questions, uh, suggestions, comments, please leave the comments. I hope, uh, I hope you're going to use this video and it's helpful. So like it so more people are going to see it.